Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of Drax Power Station. My name is Louise. We need to understand what a power station does. All power stations convert or change one sort of energy into electrical energy. A fuel is a store of chemical energy. They are substances that can go through a chemical reaction to release energy. For example, food is the fuel that gives us energy. Our bodies change the energy stored in the food into the energy we need to move, breathe and live. Remember, all power stations change one type of energy into electrical energy. Some power stations use wind or solar energy to make electricity, but others use a fuel. There are several different types of fuel that power stations can use. Power station fuels are burned, or if you want to use a more scientific word, they are combusted, and this makes heat. You will learn more about that later. The fuels are either called renewable or non-renewable. Renewable is a word to describe fuels that when you use them up, we can replace them again. For example, if you were to use wood on a fire and make heat, then when that wood was used up, you could grow more trees. Wood is called a renewable fuel. If you were to burn vegetable oil, you could make more vegetable oil by growing more of the plants that make that oil, such as sunflowers. Biomass is a type of fuel that is made from anything that can be grown. This could be wood taken from trees that grow in forests or from other plants such as large grasses such as miscanthus or stalks from wheat crops. If a fuel is non-renewable, this means that when we burn it, we cannot replace it. Coal is a fossil fuel. Oil and natural gas are also fossil fuels. They were formed from living things such as plants that lived on our planet millions of years ago. Coal, which now looks like a black rock, is made from plants buried under mud in swamps. Very, very slowly, the mud squashed the dead plants and more and more layers of mud and sand settled on top. Very slowly, the mud and sand built up and the weight of these layers and the heat from our earth turned the plants into coal. This process took millions of years. We can burn coal far, far more quickly than we can replace it. And so coal is called a non-renewable fuel. Around the world, most power stations were designed to use non-renewable fossil fuels mostly coal or gas. Drax Power Station was designed and built from the 1960s and used coal to provide its energy. Now, most of its fuel is biomass. Four out of its six generating units, you'll understand more about that later, have been changed from coal to combust or burn only biomass. The power station now only uses coal when it has to, for example, in a cold winter. Soon, within the next couple of years, Drax Power Station will stop using coal as a fuel altogether. The biomass used at Drax Power Station is made from wood which comes from trees grown in a special type of forest called a managed forest. Managed means that the trees are grown like a crop, in much the same way that a crop of wheat or vegetables are grown in a field. A managed forest is a sort of a tree farm. When trees are cut down from the managed forest, they are replaced straight away with new saplings, which is the word for a very young tree. 
This means that the land in the forest is constantly being used to grow more trees and the trees that are cut down keep being replaced. Mature trees are grown within 30 years compared to the millions of years it takes for coal to form. Biomass is a renewable fuel. The wood used for biomass isn't the big pieces and planks of wood that are used to build houses, sheds and furniture. Wood for biomass is made from tiny pieces of sawdust, which is made when the trunk of the tree is cut into the big pieces needed for construction and furniture. Biomass is also made from the smaller twigs of a tree or from damaged wood that cannot be used in construction. Lots of care is taken to make sure that the wood used for biomass is taken in as sustainable a way as possible. This means that the forest is not damaged or spoilt for wildlife, people or other industries. The biomass wood is crushed up into tiny pieces, dried and then compressed, which means squashed, to make pellets that look a lot like rabbit food. This makes sure it can be transported safely and easily. We need to transport the biomass from the countries that have large managed forests over to Drax Power Station. Many of these large forests are found in the USA and in Canada, which have huge areas of land just used for growing trees. The forests in the UK are just not large enough to produce enough wood without harming them. Lots more on the transport of biomass pellets later. biomass pellet plant owned and operated by Drax in Louisiana, which produces energy-dense biomass pellets for Drax Group. Once the sustainably sourced forest thinnings and low-grade wood from harvesting arrive at LaSalle, a log loader places them into the debarker. Here, we strip the bark from the wood and use this as fuel in our furnace during the drying stage later in the manufacturing process. This ensures that no part of the wood is wasted during pellet production. LaSalle, acquired by Drax in 2017 and since upgraded, also receives regular deliveries of sawmill residue from nearby sawmills, including co-located LaSalle Lumber, built by Hunt Forest Products, which became operational in 2019. In fact, around 40% of all biomass pellets supplied to Drax Power Station in North Yorkshire originate as sawmill residue. So, now we know that Drax Power Station uses two fuels, biomass from wood and coal. We know that the power station used to use just coal, but soon shall only use biomass. We know that biomass is a renewable fuel, but coal is non-renewable. 
coal shall run out, biomass that is carefully collected to make sure the forest is managed shall not run out. There is also another reason it is better to use biomass than coal. And this is all about something you may have heard of, global warming. Power station fuels contain lots of a chemical called carbon, as well as smaller amounts of other chemicals. The air in the atmosphere we live in contains a mixture of different gases. This mixture includes about 78% nitrogen, which means just over three quarters of the air is a gas called nitrogen. It also contains 21% oxygen, which means about one fifth of our air is a gas called oxygen, and about 0.04% is a gas called carbon dioxide. This is a tiny but important amount. Our air also contains small amounts of lots of other gases. When we combust, remember that is a scientific word for burn, coal or biomass, the carbon in these fuels reacts with the oxygen gas in the air. This reaction forms carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide gas is called a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases are gases that form a sort of blanket in the atmosphere around the earth and trap some of the heat from the sun that would usually be able to escape. If there is more carbon dioxide, this gas blanket traps more warmth and weather patterns change, including increased temperatures. The weather is still different each day, but the average temperatures get warmer all around the world. This is called global warming. So, if power stations didn't burn any fuels, they wouldn't produce carbon dioxide. However, they also wouldn't produce any electricity. If we didn't have electricity, we would not be able to live in the way we do now. We use electricity every day in our homes and our schools and to use or make the things around you. Power stations that don't make carbon dioxide, such as wind turbines, don't work when it isn't windy and solar power stations need sunshine. There are a few different reasons why we still need to be able to rely on power stations that burn fuels. Burning coal releases the carbon that has been trapped, in, trapped inside it for millions of years and releases the carbon back into the air as carbon dioxide where it could add to global warming. Burning biomass from wood releases the carbon that has been trapped inside it for about 30 years and it also releases the carbon dioxide. However, in the case of biomass, new trees are then planted. This is really important because as trees grow, they take in and use carbon dioxide gas from the air around them. The carbon dioxide is used up in a process called photosynthesis. This word isn't as complicated if you break it down into photo, which means light, and synthesis, meaning building. Plants, such as trees, use light to build more of themselves to make the plant or tree grow. The inputs, the things that go in to photosynthesis, are carbon dioxide and water. The plant or tree uses sunlight 
and a green colour in its leaves called chlorophyll to make the products. The products that the plant or tree makes are oxygen, which people and animals need to use from the gases they breathe in to stay alive, and also a sugar called glucose. The plant or the tree then uses this glucose to grow. So that's the process of photosynthesis that uses carbon dioxide. The movement of carbon from coal or biomass to the atmosphere and then into plants and trees is part of what we call the carbon cycle. It is called a cycle because carbon is constantly being moved from one place to another. If this cycle could be balanced so that humans don't add more carbon to the atmosphere than can be taken away, then carbon dioxide would not cause global warming. Changing from burning coal to burning biomass is just one step to work towards balancing this carbon cycle. Using biomass at Drax power station instead of coal reduces the amount of carbon dioxide it releases. There are also plans to try to then capture, to trap the carbon dioxide that is produced and stop it being added to the atmosphere.